If you've got a curious mind, then most likely you're someone who questions the reality of things a lot. Why did this happen, or what caused it? If this sounds like you, then this video is for you. You don't need to be a scientist to conduct some of these experiments, although we would caution you against attempting some of them. From questions like what would happen if you don't blink for 30 days to what would happen if the human brain ran out of memory? This video will attempt to answer these questions with real science and tried experiments. So let's get to it. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Let's get to it. What would happen if you only drank soda? We're often used to comfort food these days. No one really has the time or love for eating nutritious food which might lack in the taste department but which is extremely healthy for us. Even water is not spared from this tragedy. With tons of beverages loaded with sugar in the market, people are faced with so many options in place of regular old water. One of the most popular ones and an all-time favorite for many are soda drinks. Packed with sugar, it makes sense why they're so addictive. These two sisters loved their soda drinks so much that they had at one point completely swapped water with these sugary alternatives. As time went by, the toll of having such beverages started showing in their weight. Now, as part of a television show, the sisters approached a well-known nutritionist who had advised them to cut down on these sugary drinks and limit them to one a day. Though this idea wasn't well received by the two sisters, we hope they eventually get back to water. As you can see, having soda on a daily basis is just not good for you and could lead to excessive weight gain and possibly diabetes. What would happen if everyone on a plane jumped? If you have a fear of flying, then this experiment might not be for you. Air travel is considered to be the safest of all modes of transportation, so it only makes sense why aircraft come with tons of security and redundancy features for the safety of all on board. A common question that many air travelers have is what would happen if everyone on board a flight jumped at the same time? If you have a wild imagination or you've seen far too many of these air crash investigation documentaries, your answers might be nothing short of a nightmare. But to put your mind at ease, if you do manage to get everyone on a plane to jump at the same time, not much is going to happen. To answer this question, a group of civilian pilots calculated the total mass of all the people on the plane doing this experiment and the force they're able to generate by jumping. Turns out whatever little dip that might happen will be immediately corrected by the in-flight systems, ensuring that the plane is at the right altitude at all times. So you can rest easy the next time you fly. What would happen if you put food coloring in flower vase water? Here's a cool experiment to try at home. If you fancy flowers and gardening, then you can try this to make things a little more interesting. Grab a cut white flower from your garden or get one through a florist. Next, fill a glass or a vase with water and add color of your liking and mix it in. Put the white flower in the vase and wait for five to six hours. What you'll see is something amazing. You're looking at a flower which has taken on the color which was in the water. How did this happen? You basically witnessed the process of transpiration, which is the movement of water through a plant. As a result, the colored water traveled upwards and into the petals of the plant and changed its colors. Pretty cool, right? For this experiment to work, you need to have cut flowers and not potted, since potted plants evaporate the water they receive, and this won't allow for the color to change. Also, the flower needs to be white to notice the color change. Flowers with red, purple, or other bright shades won't be able to display the new coloring. Give it a try and let us know your results in the comments. What would happen if your brain ran out of memory? Memory or space are essential needs for most people in the digital age. If you want to store more pictures or videos of your life, you need to upgrade your device's storage capacity or just delete the old items. But we tend to forget that the human brain is the storage center in itself. So just how much memory does it have? Well, this question has been answered by a neurosurgery professor from the University of Pennsylvania, and you're in for a shock. The human brain has a memory storage capacity of a whopping 2.5 petabytes. That's 2,560 terabytes, or in other words, 4,000 years worth of music on your playlist. Our brain also forgets things, so new information gets imprinted in place of old. But in any case, you don't have to worry about your brain's memory being full. You're all good. What happens to cups in the deep sea? This is one experiment which most of us can't do, not unless you have your own submarine. So what exactly happens to drinking cups in the deep sea? Probably a question you've never asked yourself, but now you have the opportunity to know the answer. Turns out it's a tradition with many underwater expeditions to tie several styrofoam cups to submersibles before a dive. 
Styrofoam cups which go along with the journey go through a cool transformation. Due to the extreme pressure underwater between 1,300 to 1,700 pounds per square inch, the cells in the styrofoam shrink to tiny sizes. These cups are often colored or painted over with names of the participants of the dive and the name of the research sites. After they resurface, these cups still retain their core shape, but it is visibly compressed into a tinier and slightly deformed version of the original. Pretty cool. What happens if you microwave a chip bag? Another cool experiment which is easy to do at home, but we would highly advise against because of safety reasons. Ever wondered what would happen if you put a chips bag in the microwave? But if you're still curious, here's what happens. It's almost as if the chips bag is getting zapped by a shrink ray. The pack shrinks significantly thanks to the microwave rays, while at the same time the bag can be seen displaying quite the light show. Due to magnetism and the bag itself being a metal, the chips bag puts on an electric show on its surface. This experiment, however, doesn't work with an unopened bag of chips due to the air pressure within the bag which stops it from shrinking. Remember, don't recreate this experiment at home. What would happen if you poured detergent into a fountain? Experiments are fun, but not when it's at the cost of other people or the environment. This is an experiment which sounds fun in theory, but it's not a great thing to do in real life. In this prank gone wrong, someone had put detergent into a live fountain. It ended up with the fountain creating massive amounts of foam which eventually flowed out of the reservoir and into the neighboring areas. The foam caused a lot of damage to properties amounting to thousands of dollars and also hurt the animals and plants in the area. Though it might look harmless, detergent contains a lot of chemicals and harsh agents which can cause a lot of environmental damage. Such a prank can be classified as a misdemeanor and if the damages are high enough could even be upgraded to a felony. So if you ever feel tempted to pull this prank, just don't. What would happen if you poured water into a singing bowl? Tibetan singing bowls are pretty cool souvenirs to have because of their unique properties, one being the relaxing sound it produces when you circle the rim with a mallet. This is often used by the Tibetan monks as a way of reaching a meditative state, but here's a cool experiment which you can try with this bowl. If you pour water into the vessel and circle the rim as you normally would, you'll see something extraordinary. Due to the vibrations and resonance within the bowl, the water starts to jump along with the noise. So the sound, along with the water effect, takes the Tibetan singing bowl to a whole new level. Give it a try if you have one. What would happen if you stood on a chicken egg? Do not underestimate the strength of an eggshell. We're often used to easily cracking an egg with a spoon, but things can turn weird if you actually walk on them. Videos like this demonstrate how incredible the structure of an eggshell is. It's able to withstand enormous amounts of pressure since the spherical shape is able to perfectly distribute the weight. So if you have a carton full of eggs which you wouldn't mind parting with, try this experiment. You might bring a whole new meaning to the phrase, walking on eggshells. What would happen if you tried to steal the bonnet ornament statuette from a Rolls Royce? Rolls Royce has been a sign of ultimate luxury and wealth for decades. And if there's one thing that sums up the personality of these cars, it's the spirit of ecstasy statuette that's seen on the bonnet of every Rolls Royce. It's inspired by the Greek goddess Nike, who is the patroness of all winners, and clearly people who own such a car are winners in some way or other. The statuette is manually polished and can even be crafted entirely with pure gold at the request of the customer. So it's not surprising that these statuettes are often targeted by thieves. To deal with this problem, the company came up with an ingenious solution. At the sign of any handling, the spirit of ecstasy immediately drops down a secret hatch and is tucked away from any prying hands. So, if you own a Rolls Royce, you can rest assured that you'll return to your car with the statuette still in place. What would happen if a baby were born on a plane? Childbirth is a tough thing that every mother has to deal with. What's worse, labor can set in any time during the last trimester. So, in case a pregnant mother is traveling on a flight and she goes into labor, what exactly can be done? Well, you don't have to panic since flight attendants are trained to deal with such situations and can even help deliver your child. So what about the citizenship of the baby? Would it be a citizen of the country over which it was flying at birth, or would it retain its parents' nationality? In some cases, the nationality will be of the country which owns the airline, but this isn't the case for United States since people can exploit this loophole. Some airlines even give them the privilege of lifetime guarantee of free tickets. Now that's a great deal, don't you think? What would happen if you didn't blink for 30 days? I'm sure most of us have tried this experiment before, maybe in the form of a challenge with your friends or just a personal experiment to see how long you can do it. 
Keeping your eyes open for long without blinking is not an easy task, even though it sounds like one. So how long can someone go without blinking? Well, the current record is set by Julio Jaim of Colorado in 2016, when he managed to keep his eyes open for an impressive 1 hour, 5 minutes and 11 seconds. That's the world record, so you can imagine most people won't even come close to that figure. So what would happen if, hypothetically, someone managed to keep their eyes open for a few days? Scientists say it's not good news. Your eyes require constant cleaning and lubrication, and that's done by the blinking mechanism. If you keep your eye open for far too long, the lens of the eye will dry up and will be covered in dirt and bacteria, which can lead to serious complications or even permanent blindness. So is it really worth doing this experiment for a record? No. And that's all of them. Which experiment was the most fascinating to you? Let us know in the comments. And before you go, be sure to smash the like button, share and subscribe for more amazing content. See you again.